It's time for the Giz Whiz with Matt's Maddest Rider, Dick T. Bartolo. This is episode 1901, recorded Thursday, September 15th, 2022. This Spud's for you. On this episode of the Giz Whiz, Diggity has the Bose Quiet Comfort Earbuds number two released today. Plus, we got a new Anchor gadget, and I have another of the leftover gadgets, plus your videos. All next on the Giz Whiz! It's the same show with Dickie D. And OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Growing growing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here is our gadget host, Dickie Bartolo. Keeping it simple today uh, with the uh, yes, okay, titles, okay, you know. I mean, <laughs> okay, very good. I don't know if we've ever very done true. that. We've done no astronaut. We, no, we, yes, we did the, the king of the, <laughs> the, the king. Yeah, you're a gadget. The host. leader you know, of all gadgets. That, that is now, true as well. Uh, well, you know. next week it'll be, and he's a guy that shows <laughs> gadgets. <laughs> Here is a person, Dickie yes. Martello. Um, oh, you're right. It's right. It's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, what have you been up to uh, this uh, last let's week? See, well, so let's see. Last week, uh, we taped on a Tuesday and Wednesday. Bose introduced uh, new earbuds, the mm -hmm. Quiet Comfort 2. I have a little video I'll show in a couple of minutes. Uh, you went to Disneyland, right, again? Or, Didn't uh, you? I, yeah, I went to D23, yeah, which is Disneyland, oh. yes. So, right. oh, normally right. I go to World. And so, this time, I went to California over to, to land. And that wow. was a lot of fun. That was so much fun. Um, and it's the first time, uh, D23 is the fan club for Disney. And the D23 Expo is uh, kind of where Disney just announces a whole bunch of stuff. So they'll announce stuff. You know, now Disney has Marvel, 20th Century oh, yes, Fox, yep. uh, Star Wars. I mean, you know, they have so much under the Disney umbrella that there was a lot of um, announcements around all of the Disney stuff. Oh, okay. so, so it was a press event. It wasn't. Weirdly, oh. it's not. It's still a fan event, but wow. they do all of these announcements with a little press section and then thousands of fans. Thousands and thousands oh my and goodness. thousands oh of my fans. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, some of the highlights uh, were I got to see Adina Manzel sing uh, When You Wish Upon a Star. That was pretty cool. Oh, okay. Uh, Harrison nice. Ford. Uh, Whoa. Yeah, he got up on stage for the new Indiana Jones movie. Um, and he was basically in tears over it, which was insane. Why, because they left him out of it, or? <laughs> no, because he's kind of passing on the torch. Um, oh, oh, okay. And he was okay. very emotional 87? about. seven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Crispy yeah. Bacon just said, it, wow, okay. Yeah, he said on stage, you know, he was like, you know, and this is probably going to be the last of the, no, I'm saying it now. This is the last. I'm tired of falling down for you people. This is it. This is the last of them. Um, so yeah, it was, it was very, very, very cool. Um, if, uh, you are also a D23 aficionado, anyone in the audience, uh, I got to see the Disney Legends panel and the Marvel Star Wars, uh, 20th Century Fox panel. They also had a big parks panel that was kind of, I think I did not get wow. to see that one live. Um, but it was, it was incredible because like I've been to... You know, CES. Yes, yeah. And I've also been to a lot of smaller conventions, you know, PAXs and a, co a couple Minecraft conventions and whatnot. And to see how Disney does a convention is insane. I mean, uh, I just saw that there were 80,000 people there. The, the theater that I was in uh, to watch some of these announcements, that held 7,000 people and it's just insane because it's a ballroom. You know, it's just a really, really massive oh ballroom. 
Holy with 7,000 people in it. You know, it's not a big stadium or a, you know, normal <laughs> seating yeah. for 7,000 people. It's just 7,000 people in a room. Um, it, it was, it was crazy. Wow. It, was, it was really, really crazy. Um, so yeah, I had a ton of fun and, uh, and now I'm back. So uh, that's, okay. that's what I did. <laughs> over oh, the okay. Uh, so I did two things. One is, uh, went to the Bose thing and the other was, uh, my neighbor, uh, I met him on the street and he said, uh, you know about the spotted lantern flies? I said, yeah, I read in the paper that they're invading and that they're getting them in Riverside Park. And he said, uh, I have a few in my backyard. Perhaps you should check your backyard, especially the tree that hangs over my backyard. <laughs> so I went out there and I do have several of them. Uh-oh. Not only uh-oh, but I thought, I wonder if you can use bug spray, <laughs> which I tried. You're doing your part to uh, rid the yes, world of this. It stuff. turns out that they leap. What? They, they leap seven to ten feet. What? And I read. I later watched a video where a man was trying to get them with bug spray, and he said you have to chase them around, and the second or third time you spray them, they may die. May, may. Oh my gosh! Well, <laughs> there. That's crazy. Here, this is an article that. Uh, Scooter X shared. Scientists say you should smash this insect if you see it. Yes, you're supposed to smash them. So then I said to Dennis, I'll try to hit one with a hammer. I <laughs> missed and he, uh, we went inside. I said, I can't stand it because then the rest this of them disappeared. This is a Three Stooges figured, situation. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you know and what you I need? I have a gadget for you. I know the yes. gadget. Oh, Chad, they mentioned that Gadget. The bug assault? Yes. Yes? It said, try dish detergent and water. Okay. Which I, I watched a video and the guy said it takes at least three dippings before they die. Try um, alcohol and water. Or if you have one, get very close and use bug assault. <laughs> that is very funny. I said to Dennis, wait a minute, Chad can take care of these. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. They have, <laughs> they have a revolver oh my goodness. style. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now. They are spooky. That is crazy. Yeah. Be Becky said, what about soap water? Becky, I watched the video. The guy throws soap water. They, they are leaping all over his backyard, and he's running after them, and... So I That's emailed horrible. the landlord and said, remember that tree man you sent here? Who I said, Can you send them back because uh, I understand these things eat trees. So, yeah. Oh, my gosh. You're really at, uh, I'm seeing all these videos, what to do if you see them, national invasive species. Man, That's crazy. Mom's worm has seen a few. I think mom's worm is in Albany. <laughs> Martron has the perfect answer. Tactical nuke. <laughs> Just what? <laughs> yes. That'll get rid of yeah. any pest. Uh, it'll get, that clears out the rat problem. You know, yeah, you got the yeah. lantern spotted fly. Spotted lantern oh, I, fly. I, I, I don't remember I finished saying that. They don't bite. They don't sting. But they may swarm. <laughs> So that's encouraging. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Yeah. Spot Never a dull moment. Fly. How to kill a spotted lantern fly. It not be <laughs> may not be as easy as you think from uh I guess see in uh from uh CNBC New York. Oh, oh, there oh, you she's, go. She's yes. in front of your apartment right now. 
Yeah. Oh, what is she also trying to do? We're we getting a guana in the yeah. next. Yeah, everyone needs to adopt an iguana and keep it around. Mm. It, mm. One bug at a time. We're going to get rid of the, <laughs> this yes. fast. That is insane. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, anyway. Thank God there's no meetup. Th thank God the meetup is virtual this year. Yeah. They're massive. I didn't think they were that big. They're I big. They were they're big. Much smaller. Yeah. They're big and they swarm. Need Ugh. I say more? <laughs> Need I say more? Yikes. No, Empty pockets. Why are they bad? They are killing trees, basically. That's crazy. Yeah. Crazy. You know, I'm kind of surprised bugs don't take over more often. It seems like with well, massive air travel and all that stuff, if there, you know, why do bugs stay regionally? Then is crazy to me that they well, still do. They're not. They not they heard you. They they <laughs> they thought they, the, they know, thought the same on thing. Upcoming, on an upcoming show, Chad's going to say, "Why do we put up with this? Let's <laughs> invade New York." And Dallas next. Uh, please keep them not in Dallas. Maybe it's too hot in Dallas. Let's just cr cross our oh, fingers. Yeah. Although y'all's yeah. temperatures have not been much different. Uh, no, no. Natural. Uh, uh, anyway. Okay. Well, nasty bugs. Uh, uh, I guess let's tune, tune well, to yeah, lighter okay, subjects. So both had both had an event last Wednesday in Boggart until today. Um, and here's a little bit of video from the event. Looking for the Bose event, and I have an idea of my face. Oh my god, he's going into the light. Yes. Sound is liberation from What? an excuse to let it loose. Shake it out. I think that they're brainwashing you as you enter in. <laughs> I think that there's some subliminal messaging built into this. Oh, it could be. It could hallway. be. Uh, so anyway, you go into the event, uh, you stand in front of these tables that have the new uh, Bose Quiet Comfort Earbuds 2, and they're 30% small. I'm just going to run their video in the background yeah. without the sound, so you can sort of get an idea of what they look like. The big thing about these is... We met one of the, we had lunch with one of the, uh, the lead engineer and he said, we went as far as we can with noise reduction. And we thought, how can we do noise reduction for each person? And he said, it took five years, but when you put your earbuds on, it sends out a quick sound and the microphones in the earbud analyze that sound and set the settings you have for the space in your inner ear. Oh, so they are in. All right, we saw them in the video. This is what oh. they look like in person. Okay, these are the various fittings, uh, ear tips and wing tips, so that you can pick and choose. Actually, uh, Dennis actually took a different sizes for each ear. Uh, the yellow light means that it needs to be charged, but it just went out because the case is charging it. So now we're gonna. Take them out. You can see that's a now that's the actual size of this little guy. I'm gonna put this in and take out the other guy and put that in. And this is how you customize and them to yourself. Go into the app. Okay, so ah. both earbuds, uh, 100%. And we're gonna go into make sure that they are. We're going to get the ear tip fit test. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Run test. That's, ah, adjust. So left ear is good. Right ear, not so much. So I'm adjusting it, and then I'm going to hit the button again. Oh, am I going to pass? All right. Okay. There you go. Oh, it's funny. Now I don't hear myself. They really <laughs> lock out the sound. It's like I almost don't hear my own. I hear my own voice from inside my head. Uh, done. All right. Uh, so anyway, 
it's there's no way I can play them for you. The the sound is 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 quite amazing. Oh, uh, I'll just do one other thing here to show you. Um, you can go into you can go into EQ, set your own whatever you want. You go into modes. You can have quiet mode, which is what I'm in. And, oh, now okay, now I can hear myself because it's quiet mode with uh, a little bit of room noise. You can then make up your own. You can go into like commute and then slide the sliders back as to how much street noise and how much uh, quiet noise you want. That's really good. I love when uh, headphones have apps to customize the experience and to really nail it. Um, and that's cool. So it has a little fit mode. Where it'll play sound fit and mode. test your yes. ears. And, and when I got the earbuds right, it really, they're, they're better than my Bose uh, noise blocker head, headset. They, they, they're quite amazing. And as I said, what an incredible thing is how to customize this to each person is send out a little quick, it's, it's just a quick chime that, the mics in the, uh, I think there are four mics in each one, uh, can analyze and then set it up for your ears. Um, now, the, the, the one thing I was kind of surprised at is that the charging case cannot be wirelessly charged. Oh, uh, the, interesting. The, yeah. It, it charges via USB-C. Yeah, there's six hours of playtime when fully charged, and then three more complete charges in the case itself and the first i think they're you can order them today and i think the shipping is the 25th and then sometime in november the white uh quiet comfort twos will be out but right now it's just the black nice uh yeah very impressive. Uh, two ninety nine. I don't even know what. What are the Apple uh, buds? Are they cheaper? Um, let me look. Uh, the Apple AirPods, yeah, are currently going for two hundred and fifty dollars. So fifty dollars less. Okay. Um, and that's the second generation of AirPod Pros, which are I think the best comparison because they also do noise canceling. Right. Um, so yeah, this is about the price of most higher end noise canceling unless you go to like you know sound core i think has a few that are much less expensive um oh yeah the sound cores that, that i did uh, a couple of weeks ago 99 dollars. Yeah. those yeah. are those are really wonderful right um <clears throat> and it, it doesn't match yeah. these for uh, sound quiet but right the, 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 they're quite a it's, it's amazing right the uh, in, and I do know there's differences in the uh, sound blocking technology. One reason that is very obvious is the AirPods Pro mentioned that the new, the second generation will block even more sound, and so I assume that that's kind of the same thing here with uh, the Quiet Comforts, you know, too. Is They've up the you know, they've learned some things, and now the technology is there to block out even more sound. Um, so I, I believe that you will get a uh, a better product with the with the spending more money. Um, Absolutely, yeah. 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 And the reviews today were uh, excellent. And, and it's it's interesting is that everybody did observe not printing much about it before uh, today or actually I, I said can i talk about the event before it if necessary and said, anything happened here fine just don't review the product uh right. before the 15th so the reviews today were pretty good uh most people disappointed that it was not a char a, a wireless charging case yeah um yeah. anyway that's it quiet comfort two uh you can order them today if interested perfect um awesome. Okay, something else new from Anchor, and this is that. Or We're going to look it. at the Anchor 727 charging station. Ooh. The GAN Prime 
So it's their gallium, I guess it's gallium nitrate with active shield 2.0. We're going to unbox it. Ah! Whoa. It's Fat, the fastest unboxing ever. Um, yes. Okay. So it's the 100 watt charging station and it is pretty slim. All right. Oh, I, I think like I said that. the size of an iPhone 13, something like that. I have an iPhone. Uh, so to make it this small, they did a couple of things. One was to make the cord you need to run it uh, very narrow where it enters the body of the device. Oh, okay? yeah. So you have to remember when you travel, make Bring. sure you take this with you. <laughs> right. Because this is uh, their own device. Okay. It is keyed. And I'm going to plug it in down here. Let me find the plug. And, and it sure looks like the, the, did the front is totally <laughs> blank. I kind of neat. I've never seen that before. <clears throat> All right. So now, ooh, it looked like it was blank. And now it has a glow around it. You know, I actually thought, and I was reading some reviews, evidently <laughs> a lot of people thought, it would also charge your phone just by laying it on here. <laughs> it looks uh, like a wireless not, Doesn't not it? Wireless yes. devices in that way. Okay, now, how do you get an outlet that flat that works? I was works? thinking that. This is pretty interesting. As you put a plug in, the outlet rises up. What? Can you see that? So that it makes full contact. As I take this out, ah, it's gone down again. I'll do it another time. Are we seeing this? Mm -hmm. Okay. As it goes in, the plug comes up. Oh my gosh. Isn't that that's brilliant? And have full contact now and unplug it. When you're talking about how thin it was, flat. I didn't okay. believe you. Yeah, you or think down at the but bottom, the prongs so are gonna come out the back. Yeah. AC power. Down at the bottom we have two USB C's and two USB A's. So you can charge six devices. So now it's a hundred watts, okay? So you can run your uh, iPads from this and your MacBooks. And, but don't forget it divides the 100 watts. As you start plugging things in, it will divide the power. Now it has Active Shields 2.0, which takes the temperature of your devices that it's charging. And if their temperature goes high, they call a doctor. No. <laughs> so if the temperature is high, it adjusts the rate that it's charging it. To keep the temperature, uh, to keep your device safe. I'm sort of newish, so there aren't a lot of reviews on Amazon, but there are um, 69 of them, okay? And I looked earlier, it got 4.6 out of 5 stars. Now, it's not inexpensive. I'm just looking at that. Yeah. $94.99. And... You know, from time to time, they do have sales on these guys. So I guess the thing would be is <laughs> keep checking uh, the price. I mean, it's, you know, the design is really pretty amazing. It has a little feet on the back. So, I mean, I mean, look at this. It really doesn't slide around a lot. I'm pulling on that. And that is not moving. So... Really well designed, and that's it. That is really, really cool. Do you happen to know, can that little light on the top turn off? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. There's a little switch on the side to turn oh. it off. And I believe when the device reaches 90% of its output power, it turns blue just so you know you're close to maxim oh between uh, yesterday and today it got six more ratings is it still 4.6 uh 4.6 yeah. yeah yeah that is um, crazy so i currently use something similar um on my nightstand to oh. uh to, to you know charge all my devices i have you know apple watch you know 
iPhone and all that stuff, <clears throat> one of the things that annoys me the most is there's a big blue light on it. It won't turn off. So I have to actually, f I flip mine upside down because I don't have a Oh, thing okay, yeah. You see, there's a little like switch uh, in, in some of the pictures you can see. I didn't see it. See it. There's it a little switch. Like right yeah, there. they're right there. That's so, to turn the light so on or off. That is crazy. And then I yeah. saw after you showed it off, where was it? This, oh, maybe, maybe I didn't see it. Where did I see this? The pop-out feature of the plug. Oh, yes, and, yeah. So smart. That's pretty neat, isn't it? Because I was thinking, this is very shallow for AC power. Yeah. I don't know where I saw that. Uh, and, and, and it was interesting is that it does at the bottom of the... Oops, sorry. <clears throat> at the bottom of the description, it says, Note, the Anchor 727 is not a wireless portable charging yeah. battery. <laughs> There's a bad UI on their part. I feel like, uh, you know, people thought that it would do that. Yeah. I swear I saw a photo of that thing working. I don't know where I did, though. Oh, maybe this carousel was... I have no idea where that is. Oh, there? Maybe. It was like a close-up of it popping out. I have no idea how that where it where it went, um, but that's great. That's just such a cool way to uh, solve that problem. You want it to be super thin, yes. But, uh, it also needs to oh, cover I, up. Uh, Chrissy oh, Bacon said, "Now the fun question: Can you plug a waffle iron in? I believe it is. <laughs> you'd have to check the specs. I think it's rated for ten amps, so that's not going to do a waffle iron. No, yeah. Well, that's uh, really really cool. So this pretty, uh, gallium or whatever they called it. Uh, yeah, gallium. It, I think nitrate. Um, the cool thing about that." is it's basically it makes the brick th smaller. So it's an expensive metal. So places like Apple and Dell and whatnot, they're not gonna stick that into their um, bricks, their power bricks to turn AC to DC. So uh, that's kind of why this is a more premium product is it makes the whole product thinner and smaller at a higher wattage so that you can run, you know, computers. Like this could easily run the MacBook Pro. Um, on oh, yeah. Any, it says, so uh, yeah, it'll charge the MacBook Pro 16 to half power in 43 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. See, so. there you go. Um, and and this will be fast, you know, any basically any phone that has fast charging, this will fast charge your phone um, because... Uh, of that 100 watt capability. While it takes your temperature. <laughs> I don't quite, <laughs> unless, I don't quite get the temperature thing. It must be the temperature I, I think what of it is, the if device. You, if your phone starts heating up, it'll <sighs> reduce the amount of power it's sending to How would it reduce know my the phone's heat? temperature. This is magic. Uh, this seems like black magic. It's magic, to yeah. <laughs> figure it's like that out. Thing. It sends something out and says, <laughs> It oh, goes, hey, hey, how hot are you? Hey. <laughs> Maybe that's what the blue thing is. It's, it's a thermometer. You need to set the your device be, on the blue. I have no idea how that would work. Um, yeah. That's really cool. And uh, it is I, it's too far outside of my budget for me to buy it otherwise. I'd buy yeah. it right now. Although this other, there's another gadget. I literally saw. I think saw they make. Uh, they may make a 65 watt version. Or did you find something from a different? This company? looks way cool. So I've had forever a. Oh gosh, it's, uh, it was. It's called Monster or something. Um, but it's my travel uh, power brick, and and this looks like the closest thing I've ever seen to that, um, where. You could just travel with this, and then everything you know would be charged off of it, which just seems so 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 cool. The yeah. thing that I had before was more of a um, power strip. It was like a travel power strip, 
um, it wasn't really meant to like plug in USB and oh, stuff like okay. that. Um, I swear that it was some type of mo mon monster. I don't can't remember nowadays. <clears throat> and I've never seen another gadget like it. It folded in on itself to, oh. uh, I swear I've covered it on the show, but I, I've had it for mm -hmm. years now. Was it from Monster Cable? I don't think it was from Monster Cable. Oh, okay, which is okay. So confusing that it was named <laughs> I, Monster, Monster. Yeah. Um, I can't find it. Or I was hoping to be able to find it real fast and show it off. But anyway, that looks cool too. That's a cool, uh, cool power strip. Cool power stuff. Uh, nice. Oh, okay, charging. Yeah, power charging station. I think they call it. Yeah. Um, okay, and my third gadget is this. It's webcam time. Woo! Okay, so with everybody doing Zoom, every, pretty much everybody has what they need. Uh, I got a lot of questions about webcam, about little LED ring lights. Uh, but then I found this, a webcam with the ring light built in and uh, 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 remote control. What? Okay. Uh, it's called Vitade, V I T A D E, and it's a 1080p, 60 frames per second streaming webcam. Oh. With a ring light and microphone. Uh, actually, I think it has two microphones in it. This is it. All right. And the little ring on the back to adjust the light. And then back here. You can make warm light, medium, and I guess that's medium. That's warm, and that's white, white. And then once it's on, is this burning the camera out? Um, so what I thought I'd do, I'm showing you this because while this video is running, I will uh, go from my regular camera that we're using on the show and you can see me through this camera and we'll see the results of it. Okay. So you can actually open and close the shutter of the camera. Uh, actually, you know, just go to that little picture there. Okay. So uh, let me bring it up. Okay. So that, uh, and then you click it and I can close the shutter. So that's pretty neat. Gives you a little bit of privacy. You can, it's a little hard, the, the, the monitor that Dennis is filming is far from me. It's five steps of zoom in and out. And then you can shut the mic on and off. Let me go a little higher, okay. Um, anyway, so we'll actually, now we'll go, oh, and I'll just do the price now. Uh, 65 bucks, but there is a 25% off coupon which is a little less than uh, when I bought it, it was 40% off. Uh, anyway, that brings it to under 50 bucks. So now let's go back to the studio and this camera on the show. Dun, dun, dun! That's not bad. Good. No, not bad at all. No, actually I shut all the lights off. I shut all the panel lights. And I'm just using the light that is on the camera. Oh. I, I think that's pretty decent, isn't it? It is pretty decent. And yeah. I can, you know, I'm looking oh, at... I oh. just hit, I hit my remote control. <laughs> okay. Well, that worked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at it at a 4K full resolution monitor right here, too. And in my eye, you look pretty good. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. For, now for the, the price, not yeah. bad. Now, this is very strange, and I just read it uh, 20 minutes before the show. It said, because I'm trying to zoom it, and it doesn't seem to zoom, it says, the five-point zoom does not work at 1080p. What? So it doesn't tell you... <laughs> It says that the camera's 1080p. So what do you do if you want to use the zoom? I guess you have to somehow change it to a lower some, resolution. Yeah, but how? Uh, there's no. I don't know. But also, 
the same company makes a version, you know, it almost looks like the remote control doesn't do much. Right. Um, they make another version with built in light. Uh, and only the light, this one is endlessly, it's, it's a ring. You can make it brighter. The lower one is only $50, but what? 40% off. Wow. That wow. brings it down to 30 bucks. Yeah. Uh, from the same company. And they also say that one is 1080p. So, yeah, what? this is pretty Man. decent. I, I, I Not bad. This... Oh, look. Oh, this is the others. You get this. Oh, the other. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> What a oh, that's glitch. a chop suey. That's uh, the chop yeah. suey mode. But the 960A, full non Z share. This is amazing. Huh. That's so funny. All right. That's pretty anyway. cool. Those are yeah. some inexpensive webcams. That's the Especially $50 the, down to 30 and then here's yeah, the that, that, 65 that's good. Especially because the 65 uh it's what was it? 30% off. Yeah. It drops it down to $49. But I'm unhappy that the remote control is almost nothing because I'm in 1080p. <laughs> right. So if you can live with the light adjustment being just a three-step as opposed to this one, which you can alternate between white-white and warm-white and then just turn the ring and... Uh, anyway, yeah. but it's pretty, yeah, it's very nice. I, very and I nice. can definitely tell the difference between it being on, the light being on yeah. and it being off. Yeah. Um, it's pretty good. Pretty so, good. Okay. V-I-T-A-D-E. Yeah, V-I-T-A-D-E. Okay. With that. Awesome. It's time for. You know you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Core. Get it. Okie dokie. This is going to be a gadget you never expected. Here it is. I'll just be honest. It's a potato. <laughs> wow. The gadget is a potato. No, not exactly. I'm joking. I'm joking with you. Oh, you can I... charge your phone with it. <laughs> Very slowly. Very, very slowly. No. Um, it's a camera. It's potato quality camera. No. Uh, I recorded a video just earlier, so let's take a look. Hey, DKD. So we are back with another leftover gadget. And today we are taking a look at the Spud Gun. Now, I have had this uh, actually for a while. I think I've had this for a few years. I cannot remember what I originally got it for or from, but we have never taken a look at it uh, on the show. So it's a pretty retro looking device. It is a toy and it does require a potato to use. So here's the gadget. The idea is that you take this, you stab it into a potato like so, then it has been loaded with a tiny piece of that potato, and now you can fire it. Now you can fire it. Oh, but there it was. That was very uh, small uh, compared to what I remember this doing. Uh, I actually played with this. way more exciting than it is. Uh, I guess I remembered this uh, product wrong. Um, I played with this uh, with my parents uh, when I was uh, younger. So I thought that this was like a little bit more exciting. So let's see if I can actually, I remember it would like pop. It would like, there we go. That kind of worked. Now I lost potato over there. I'm not sure where it is in the house. Let's uh, try this one more time. This time I'm going to shoot it into my hand, hopefully. There it goes. <laughs> so here's the tiny little projectile. It's a little piece of potato. Um, and so this would be a great little thing to play 
outside, uh, obviously, where you're not worried about a little piece of potato getting uh, all over your house. Um, so that is the spud gun. It seems, there we go, a little, uh, uh, not all, uh, like it doesn't work all the time. Uh, it does mention some uh, washing instructions. So you stick it into some water and just uh, fire it a whole bunch of times. Uh, then if you really need to open it up, there are two screws on either side. So you can open this and then really, really deep clean it. Uh, but that is really all that there is to the spud gun. Uh, you do need to bring your own potato. <laughs> Okie dokie. Potato sold separately. <laughs> potato sold separately, exactly. Some potato assembly required. Um, so it's kind of a fun little thing. And I mean, I guess you don't have to play outside if you don't mind potato getting all over your, your house. Um, it's cheap. I did not remember it being this cheap. Six bucks. Oh my gosh. For the potato gun. If you want it to be even less expensive, you can get a multi-pack. For twelve bucks, <laughs> three bucks each. Yeah. Wow. So I, I didn't realize these are all over the place. Um, you know, if you yeah. had hot grease, you could make real <laughs> mini French fries. Uh, fry it up. Fry up your projectiles. Stick it in there and fire it off. Wow. Um, this one has different packaging than than mine, but. Uh, it is, it's a lot of fun. I mean, six bucks to three dollars, entertain your kids with, give them a potato. I think they think it's fun. Send them to the backyard, fire potato pellets. If you get a potato pellet in your eye, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be that big of a deal. Um, so there you go. The, the spud gun, you can just search for potato gun um, on Amazon. Uh, and you'll find a whole bunch of, of different options. So there you go. The spot gun. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Our email and video is from Paul Grisbaum, G-R-I-E-S-B-A-U-M, who emails us. It's been a while since I posted a video, but I recorded this video of a key finder I had been considering buying for a long time. And here is Paul's video. Hello, GizWiz fans. What you're looking at here is a remote control that has five color codes. Each one of these color codes corresponds to one of these key finders Ooh. that you have a device attached to. Now, I have currently, I'm using this inside for a remote uh, control for my television and it has adhesive that I can stick on the back of my remote but it also has a uh, you can just attach it around a key so as I have said this is really economical because it's only around $29 on Amazon. Yeah. And it also is beneficial in that each time you need, um, normally you would need to buy batteries, you can just recharge these. You just plug these into your computer. Ah. It has, there's a port on the side of the uh, device. Oh, nice. And I'm going to take this outside to test how well it would uh, work if I ever lost my keys. As I have said, this is the Esky key finder, and you can get it on Amazon for around $29. 
Okay, I'm standing a pretty good distance and I'm going to press this green button that corresponds to the receiver that's connected to the key and we'll see how good this is. Now I guess ah. you can hear the... I hear it. So it's pretty close and I'll walk a little closer and you'll hear it again. Is this yep. very loud, especially is. for being outside? Right here yeah. under this bush. Oh yeah. Just to wrap things up, uh, you can get this on Amazon for around $29, maybe a little less. And you get five of them and they are rechargeable. So back to you, Dick and Chad. That Thank is great. You. It could, Very especially nice. when the competition is either Tile or Tracker or Air Tags from Apple. And those are like, you know, I don't even know, uh, like $40 each. Um, what is a Tile uh, find? My find tile finder 25 bucks for one, <laughs> you can mm. get six, but for the, the, the range is price. longer though, right? On a tile, right? And so, a tile yeah. and an air paw, air, uh, air tag, and all that, they're also um meant for uh having kind of a network. So, even if you yeah. lose them uh in another state, hopefully, someone who's using either the tile app or if they have an Apple phone, will walk past it and it will notify you. Kind of a different situation, but if you wanted to find your remote in your house. Yeah, no, things around the house, this right. is great. If you didn't have yeah. this option, I mean, it would be like Tile and AirTag is, is your only thing. Um, yeah. There's a whole and bunch of different form this factors. this company makes a ton and of yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, no joke. This is great. I mean, just looking at these, these seem so um, convenient. Put it on your water bottle. With six of them, you, know, you could put it on everything. Holy moly. I kind of wish they had an area that you could write in a label. That'd be nice. You know, oh, instead yeah. of just a color. Like, is green yeah. my t TV remote? Oh, or yeah, purple? no, you're right, you're right. You know? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh, stuff, yeah, a whole bunch of different options. If I just go to their store, even looks like they have uh, they sell emergency lights and remote finders. Those are. <laughs> I'm amazed that they <laughs> the don't have things. little stick-on tags. Yeah, that'd have been perfect. Yeah. But it's awesome. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of it now. Is neat. even it even is less neat. expensive. It's Nineteen dollars. That's perfect. I love that. That's a great gadget. Great, great right. gadget. So, Paul, you will get the current issue of Mad Magazine, and we're always looking for more videos, okay? Anything to do with a gadget, a gadget you bought and liked, like Paul did, a gadget you bought and hated, or one of our favorites, a gadget you can throw out because <laughs> you spent a ton of money for it, and the technology you bought is laughable today, but it's fun to see those old gadgets and what we thought was so high tech in days gone by. But anything to do with a gadget, horizontal uh, format when you shoot it, make sure we can hear you and see the gadget, pretty much it. Uh, on YouTube, upload it. You can click unlisted on the drop down menu. Unlisted means only people with the URL can see it and send that URL to us at mail at gizwiz.tv, mail at gizwiz.tv, one to three minute video. Um, and there's a 99% chance or even better <laughs> that we'll show it. Mail at gizwiz.tv. And with that, let's move on to the letter. Uh, Bruce Hall writes us, oh, Chad, while I read the letter, maybe you can find a picture of yeah. the master lock that you set with, like, pushing up and down on yes. it. Yes. Yeah. Here. Uh, okay. Paul says, 
I'm, I'm not, I'm, I mean, Bruce, Bruce Hill says recently you did a story on the master lock with the magnification lens. You also mentioned the lock that can be unlocked by moving, uh, it up and down and side to side. Be careful with these locks as they can be reprogrammed. They apparently ship all with the same code. Uh, and you reprogram them once you get them. However, all you need to reprogram is the knowledge of the current code. Well, some prankster went to my local A Rite Aid store and reprogrammed all the locks on the shelf. Uh, 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 so that okay. would mean they were, they're useless, right? Uh, yeah, unless you spent the time. Happen to guess yeah so that seems, i i, I uh, guess the locks must not be blister packed no i'd say buy so this th from amazon or direct from master lock <laughs> yeah that's right that's a better idea don't buy it in a store no that might be that might be the uh warning here uh from bruce hill don't buy it in the store where it could have been reprogrammed or set the new combination in the store right and then pay for it at the register right right that that's the safe way right um the, <laughs> uh, that, that's a strange thing for someone to, someone to sit there all day and just reprogram someone all the hopefully they don't hear this podcast otherwise they're gonna have quite yes. the laugh you know, yes some people just want to troll you know what, can everybody. you can you you could reprogram it and not even know what you reprogram it as, right? I mean, if you forget, yeah, your code. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you yeah. could just you could just reprogram it. Oh, I guess yeah. Uh, the person probably yes, doesn't. The, yeah, the, whoever the, the, the troll that, is doesn't care. Yes, the, the fact that you're just ruining it for someone else means exactly. you don't have to. You can just go ah, 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 this lock is set. Who knows to what? Nah, right. Yeah. Right. 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 Anyway, Absolutely. Yeah. And if I remember correctly, the reprogramming is like super easy to do. Once you open it, I think you just twist the the shank around and then push it back in and then yeah you know it, it would be pretty quick and those locks are specifically you know made to be kind of fast to open so yeah. uh yeah that's very very funny check before you buy right exactly uh with that i want to say thank you to our patrons for supporting our show thank you thank you thank you so much for your support patrons if you're a patron, take this moment, pat yourself on the back. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you so much for supporting our show. If you like the GizWiz, you can give back via Patreon or PayPal. All you have to do is head to our website, gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab at the top of the website, and there's a big old banner there for Patreon, or there's a PayPal link just under that banner so that you can support the show. Thank you guys, however you support, so, so, so much. Uh, speaking of Gizmas.tv, that's where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. Here we are live right now. Uh, if there's ever a schedule change, it'll be at the top of the website. You can join the chat room and chat along if we are live. If not, it'll be the latest episode there at the top of the website or you can catch any of the previous episodes there as well. Uh, head on over to gizwiz.biz, that's Dickie D's website where he writes up articles about all of the gadgets that we cover on this show. So if you need a link or a description of a gadget that we talked about, gizwiz.biz is the place. While you're there, head on over and play What the Heck Is It? This is uh, the game show that Dickie D runs where you gotta guess the gadget. This will be an entire gadget, not just a piece or a part of the gadget. So you're looking at absolutely everything there. Um, and this is uh, obviously a, uh, it's a, it's one of those finders uh, that we just uh, talked about. Um, you know, they can locate, uh, but this is specifically for locating your lost carrots. So if, uh, you're looking, <laughs> if you've misplaced your carrots, this is, uh, the device for you. If you think you know what this is, get a guess on gizwiz.biz, six magazines for 
the correct answer, 12 Mad Magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, or interesting answers. So get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. That about wraps it up for our show, so we'll see you next week. I'll be here.